One, two, three, four, five. Tugi. Hello. 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 Indeed. Hey, did you know that we have a, a recently partnered? Uh, <laughs> did you know? DM? Uh, sponsored by update 11 oh, we okay. have a newly partnered dungeon master on twitch <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck okay cool subscribe yeah subscribe now uh, to all your favorite dungeon masters yeah. through update 12 <laughs> whoa, whoa wait a minute. if you have a prime sub you should use it on your favorite D, &D streamers that's right yeah yeah, use now your you have to use your prime <laughs> sub on two streamers. You could do it. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. Well, you gotta alternate, field. okay? Figure and if, it out. And if you can't figure it out, well, I mean, that's that's it's my month to have the subs. It's my month to have the prime. <laughs> You no, know, give Crown the Prime. It's fine. Give, give give Crown the Prime sub. Give it to him. Okay, go over. Like later though, but like you know, and when we wrap up <laughs> like, here, you see that Prime Gaming Crown, and his name is the Dang. Crown wow. DM. Wow, <laughs> that was like some some meta shit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm so stoked right now. As we all are. Yes. Uh, now we should on let to... the boss know that we can't possibly fight. You know, we can't possibly do this. <laughs> we're celebrating here. We're, cel like, you we're know? celebrating, yeah. <laughs> we can't ruin the vibes. <laughs> oh, man. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? Okay, we got one person down. We've got... Uh, we've got Gareth here, who's glowing, a uh, mysterious sort of like purplish pink. Uh, and then we've got uh, what appears to be this kind of like glowing area uh, about to go off. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Let's recap. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me sit down for a sec. Uh, actually, let's start with the let's start with the Naomi recap. <clears throat> On the last episode, we started off on the bridge, fighting the godlike boss man, Ceratos, who was keen on destroying us, along with all of Arkmund. We slowed him, whipped him good, and he got really mad, talking about how the dawn of Ganymede shall come, that we're foolish mortals and other dumb stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, we popped off, sword slam jammed him, cheats did some drugs and got real fucked up by them, Marius went in and also slam jammed, I, I use that phrase a lot, apparently, in my writing. Gareth went at him with a mighty swing and inspired cheats, and she wept him to death! Before he died, he mentioned something about a hecaton. None of us know what the heck it is. <laughs> anyway, we harvested the god for parts and talked about what to do next. Marius hacked into the system like a pro and found a picture of a brown planet with an absolutely enormous crater with circles around it. It was not made of chocolate. We downloaded the image and programmed the ship to divert all of its remaining power into a power cell that we could take in about six hours time. And then we headed back the way we came and went to face the horror with many arms and only arms. Cheats, fighting against every instinct she had, went to check on the creature. It was awake. We went in and threw every bomb we had at it. It was going down fast, but then it targeted... I keep on forgetting. Is it Marius or Marius? Mar... And Marius <laughs> targeted Marius. Cheats ran out to him and tried to distract the beast, but it sent radiation damage through Marius anyway. In an explosion out of him and straight into Cheats, our battle wasn't over and Cheats was down. Will we survive? We're about to find out. Woo! Amazing as always. Thank you. Perfect. Phenomenal. Thanks. Hey, hey guys, apparently I had uh, Momo muted on Twitter. I don't know why that was. The, uh, yeah. uh, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I don't do it. I don't fucking Why would you admit that? I don't know. No. I thought it was funny. <laughs> whoa, whoa. 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 Wait a minute. Just testing my new uh stand up material. Did that uh, uh No? That's okay. We'll scratch that off the uh the stand up list. It's fine. <laughs> scratch that. Wow, she calls you the ambassador of DMs of Dungeons and Dragons, and this is how you yeah. Yeah, and me. CEO <laughs> of D&D. &D. 
I don't know. Yeah. I genuinely don't know what happened. I'm kind of a little pissed off at that, honestly. God, I hate Twitter. I was like, who is the who just messaged crowned that I have muted? And then I checked it was Momo and I was very so I was very alarmed. I was like, what the fuck? How long has this been happening? <laughs> so uh yeah, sorry about that, Momo. That's okay. I unmuted you though, we so we're we're good. It's okay, I found out yesterday I've been shadow sending, like, t TikToks to somebody in TikTok that I didn't even know who it was. Oh, I yeah, keep, yeah. like, tapping it with my, like, finger every time I swipe. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. It's awful. I opened it up, and oh. there's, like, just this person having a conversation, like, oh, my gosh, that's so funny, and I don't know who they are. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck oh. is happening? Oh, and they're you're... like, oh, they like me. They really do. They're sending me all these pictures. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Who is We're this? really friends now, I guess. <laughs> We've bonded. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah you're, you're, your thing is, like, way worse than my thing. Jesus <laughs> fucking. Genuine dread. Oh yeah, I, I would, I would oh, hate shit. that. I had, I, would... a, I had a very cringe moment of weakness where somebody unfollowed me, and, and you know, I thought we were friends, so I messaged them. I was like, did I do something wrong? Uh, but it's okay if you don't want to follow me anymore. I understand. And then they were like, oh, it wasn't me. Uh, it must it must have been Twitter because you know Twitter does that sometimes it mutes people by accident mm -hmm. and it follows people by accident. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I was that yeah. person that was like, um, "Did you did you mean to unfollow me? <laughs> you still like together, me?" Please. First of all, no one no one ever unfollows like anyone because that just starts way more shit than anything. So you just kind of like, if you unfollow someone, like that's it. They might as well be dead to you or. Uh, someone fat fingered the uh, wow. the, wow. the 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 unfollow thing, or fat yeah. thumbed. It's fat thumbed, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well so why am I not being right. followed by Brett? What? Wait a minute. Your partner now. You don't uh, need what? me to. You don't need me to force you up. <laughs> what? You're on your own now, and I shove you into the deep end. Oh my swim. god. Swim. <laughs> Fucking swim. <laughs> All right. Um. So. Has anyone been keeping track of mechanics? I looked to name. Uh, hmm? uh nah, you think I take notes on mechanics? <laughs> well, 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 well. Um, well, this big, big, big thing is probably going to explode. Um, after its next turn, I think. So we should all get out of the thing on our turns. Um, and then also, uh, a Gareth. I'm a is gonna blow up, yeah. Um, so we should also get away from him. That's great. That that's solid. Really good stuff. Yeah. Also cheat. Also cheats is down. Yeah, but <laughs> there was okay. a. Ugh, excuse me. I'm so gassy. Wow. So <laughs> I am. I, I get a little gassy before what? I start D and D. I don't know what it is. Am I gassy? I mean, the creative gases. I, it's burpy. Someone, someone <laughs> said they were like, "You're you're farting a lot. Why you gotta tell us?" I'm like, "No, it's not. <laughs> mm, mm, I'm not a mm, fart mm. a lot. That's not gonna stop me. I'm just gonna let it out. But if I can't talk because I'm burping, then that's gonna be a different issue. You know? <laughs> you get it." Absolutely. Anyways, let's uh let's let's do this. <laughs> uh amalgamation. Doo -doo -doo. No, not amalgamation. What are you? Uh arthropod, that's what it is. Ba -ba -ba. Or anthropod. Arthropod. Where the music at? Uh oh Where's the music. Pause champ. Where's the where's the shit? Ah, uh, here we go. Where where's the doohickey that plays the songs? That's me. No, that's me. Anyway. I said it. Mm. No, okay. I said it. Okay. Ooh. Uh I think we literally just ended with uh cheats going down. So it's gonna be yep. Did Gareth Gareth didn't go last round. Nah. Is round yet? Okay, cool. Awesome. Nah, I didn't go. Okay, uh, one moment. I gotta check it's a couple. I gotta check a thing. Okay. Uh... Oh! Yeah! 
Siren Brial. Okay, yeah, yeah it, it just, Gareth was just targeted. That was the lair action, which is why. Okay, now I understand. Sheets went, uh, initiative 20, lair action went off. Uh, Marius exploded in a, in a, in a radiant, flu, uh, like a radiant plume, which then uh, knocked Sheets out because Sheets was within the area. And then Gareth became the next target. And now it's Gareth's turn. Yahoo! I unpause. <clears throat> Gareth looks down at the giant reticle targeting his chest. And he looks to his companions and says, Get away from me! I'm next! And he's going to move over into this corner. Okay. That's valid movement, right? Uh, how did you move? Them. How did you uh, move? I just moved uh, here and then... You're going to step over cheese. I mean, what? A... Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm going to do that. She is unconscious. That's true. She won't remember. Cannot move. <laughs> so, exactly. so Marius, you just saw cheats go down. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably like, what is Marius like? What is Marius is like? What's going on with Marius right now? Uh, there's the like again. The the eyes open. There's that clearing of the smoke. He's expecting to be like Reaper, take me. Finds out totally fine. Sees the crumpled. Uh, like the crumpled body of Cheats smoldering with the radiation, looks up and sees Gareth glowing the same exact way, immediately starts panicking. Uh, and then he <laughs> approaches, sidesteps around you, steps over Cheats', Cheats body, and then moves over to that area. Get away right. from me! Get away from me! Walks and he's there. gonna focus on making an attack against this pile of garbage. Okie dokie. There he goes. Squish him. Uh, that hits 15 points hey. of damage. Nice. God damn. <gasps> good shit, good shit, good shit. Uh, let's see, hold on. I'll you, uh... Mm, oh, wait, where's my distracting strike? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'll spend a superiority die, and we'll do a distracting strike here. Understood. For extra damage on that hit. Oh, oh there you go. Ooh, nice. Okay. Six points of damage. Excellent. I'll strike again. That hits. 12 points. Excellent. Um, I'm not below health. Let me see. Do I still have... No, I don't have my... Oh, wait, I do have my action surge. What the heck? All right, I'm expending my action surge for another round of attacks. Oh, shit. Because I can do that. Uh, miss. How about this one? Oh, oh baby! Oh, my goodness. 12 points of damage. I'll inspire Marius. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Oh, that's right. I will ignore <laughs> that mechanic. You're literally glowing. No. <laughs> Get away from me! Stop looking! Get away from me! Stop right. looking! That's... Don't look, look at me! Don't look at me! That's, uh, that's my whole turn. Get away from me! Stop looking at me! Stands next to the unconscious body of Sheets. Alright, cool. Uh, next up is going to be Vizika. Okay! <laughs> <clears throat> I have a question about stunning strike. Yes. Is it something that happens alongside a normal melee weapon attack, or is it a thing in and of itself? Let us read it together. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can spend one key to make the target stunned until the end of your next turn if it fails a con saving throw. There you go. Okay, then we're gonna attack with a stunning strike. Miss. Oh, I didn't even see it show up. Oh, we're, okay, so we spent one key. Uh, okay, second you... attack is also gonna be attempt with a stunning strike. Oh, oh okay, so, 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 so. Wait, when can you, you only do that once per turn? So when you hit yes. with a melee weapon attack, oh, okay. you can then spend one key point oh. to make the target stunned until the end of your next turn if they fail the con save. Do you get okay, it? Okay, I'm doing it. Yeah, so now you're spending it. There yes. you go. So it's eight points of damage. Okay. Yes. Also, fire. Uh, eh. My icons are broken. <laughs> oh, buddy, we'll fix that. And then I'm gonna con save. 
Mm. And then I con saved. Okay, understandable. Then I'm gonna spend another key point, and we're gonna do flurry of blows, two unarmed strikes. Is it gonna be stinky? We'll find out. Uh, wait, it's run out. Of, it says it's run out of its designated item uses, so I can't. I can't click it. Are you have key points. No, no, I have you, eight you, key you, points. You, you have five key points. It's just that it uses. We have. I have to. I have to rebuild your character sheet because it's yeah. linking to like some weird active ability instead of your resource. So I, I should have six. I, I had yeah, eight yeah. Out of so eight. so go ahead and I'm just gonna go and do I've this. I've been manually doing the key points in my sheet. Ah, okay. All right, now you can punch. Okay. And you want to adjust the key points in your first page of the character sheet. Yeah. All right, that and, hits. And another one. Uh, Ooh. How do you Ooh. dispatch? Just kidding, that doesn't hit. Sorry, 16 doesn't hit. Oh, <laughs> it falls shit. down and then stands back up. What it's a not, shame. Yeah, it's not done yet. All right, very good. Well, then, and, and then she's going to... Oh, this is a lot of radiation here. And with mobile, going to escape out, out of this uh, radius. <laughs> Excellent. And yeah. That's a legendary action. Oh shit. Uh I think Yes. Finish it. Uh this thing's going to try and grab Grab me. But don't look at me. <laughs> nah, gotta add it to the pile. Uh, this thing's gonna grab sheets and start pulling it into the amalgamation, into this, into this combination. So we're, we're going for the maw. That's gonna be thirteen. That's gonna be one failed uh, death saving throw for for sheets. Oh my god, you already tracked it. Thanks, bud. Uh, Marius. And you watch as it's, uh, she becomes restrained and starts getting pulled into the maw. Oh, uh, yeah. The immediate thing had been um, the idea of grabbing her and pulling her out, but seeing uh, seeing it, her just get nabbed and sort of being pulled in immediately, his armor activates. Uh, and I'm going to just to guarantee damage magic missile. Mm. Oh. All right. Please roll your magic missile. Uh, how do you dispatch intelligence save? What the fuck? Uh, how do you say? Uh, how do you dispatch of the beast? The small, like the portion of his pauldrons immediately open and. Uh, this kinetic bombardment flies out. It strikes it, sort of submerging itself within the goop that's around its neck and head where it's making those skulls, uh, and they detonate inside of it, these, like, death charges. And you'll watch as it just falls down to the ground. Um, so with the beast dispatched, uh, we are still going to remain in initiative. Uh, this dies down as well as this dies down. Uh, it is still Marius' turn. Okay. Um... So here's the question. Uh, what is it to move cheats? Uh, it would be an action, unless you have some sort of bonus action that lets you, allows you to grapple with a bonus action. I do not. Um. Is there, is there any way 
Oh wait. Is Gareth still glowing? No. Oh. If we're still in okay. Um then I think Mars is gonna start trying to get cheats out of the uh of the corpse basically. My next turn will be me trying to pull uh pull cheats out. Okay. Is it initiative because she's death rolling? Correct. Anya. While a character Hello? while a character is dying, we remain in initiative. Is she <clears throat> does she only have one death roll so far? So far, correct. Okay. One failed save. <sighs> <clears throat> but we can't like I can I could not force feed, like we can't do anything. We we just have to wait it out, right? I have a sentinel flask. No, you can definitely charge. hear. I can assist. Can, you can, can stabilize. I? Okay. Absolutely. Uh, so because I do have two of my sentinels flask charges, I could just. But do you have any hit dice? No, I don't. Oh wait, no, a, but but the problem. but the flask gives you one HP. If you don't have yeah, any, but... yeah, it would I... work. Also, you w you're, without you... hit dice. Uh, the sentinels flask uses the um the person who's drinking it uh their hit dice. Oh. Oh, so, so Cheats is the hit dice? Correct. Does Cheats have hit dice? Uh, I'm checking. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think it, hold on, let me, let me check real quick. Oh yeah, it like hides it if, uh. Yeah, I can't. You have, uh, Cheats has one hit dice remaining. Perfect. Okay, well. I would love to force feed her my one charge of the Sentinel's Flask. Excellent. So with that, I shall roll. Cheats will heal for 10 Ooh. hit points. And now Beautiful. we can end the encounter. Get away from me! Uh, Gareth dives into the corner. Sort of. What's gotten into him? Stand still overhead. Ex still <laughs> expecting the bomb to go off. He yeah. does sort of like shield cheats like sort of push his entire body to cover the blast and is sort of bracing at that a moment goes by <laughs> two moments goes by and then... <laughs> did it i didn't hear an explosion are you all right over there girl i'm all right uh, I you're still not. glowing mm. oh no i suppose not well. Oh, we did it? Oh, we did it. We did. Vanya is is just uh, on her knees and trying to kind of pick up Cheat's head off of the ground, kind of hold her and try to see if she's getting up. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Uh. I didn't think all of you would be in the afterlife. Um, I didn't even think I'd make it. Yeah. It's not the afterlife. I saw the door close. It'd be kind of shitty for an afterlife to look like... Um, Vizika looks around and wrinkles her nose. <laughs> and smell like this. <laughs> I saw it though. Well, just, just a moment of fear. You're still here with us. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would say much like he's done before, sort of just to get her away from the, uh, the remains of the arthropod, uh, sort of scoop her up and sort of pull her from the uh, the goop and just sort of hold her. Uh, a reoccurring thing that has happened uh, multiple times in this station. <laughs> Hasn't been great. Cheats is like head lists to the side and we can have the we go home now. Huh? What'd you say? She wants to go home. And I do believe our job here is done. 
I don't want to stay any longer. That's probably a good idea. He would sort of pause for a moment when Vanya walks past. Thank you. For what? For what you just did. Of course. I would do that for anyone. Of you. There's a small nod. Garrus investigating over here for anything of interest. Hmm. Um, as you kind of like approach over to that corner and that the, the darkened area, uh, you would see all of those um, sort of storage containers completely open uh, and empty. Hmm. Safe to assume where uh, the cadavers were being stored. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything but foul smells over there. I'll need your help for a moment. Me? Either one of you. Um, or somebody could. If somebody could hold her and then the other assist me in. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. You're just let me down. I'll be alright. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody would hold her. Right. Gareth will give her some support. We're gonna harvest the bowels. Uh oh <laughs> wait, of her? The the bowels. Huh? <laughs> oh, I, thought said, I thought you said bowels. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Her bow? That's oh. right, we're harvesting cat girl tonight. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, we're out of camp supplies, you see, so. <laughs> A cat will Santa's do. gotta give. Uh, okay, uh, give me one quick moment. Because I was. Uh, once again, a, a little stinker. So give me, give me one second. Understood. Stinky. A little stinker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Let me check some shit out real quick. Not there. Chat, you don't get to look at that. Close your eyes and forget everything that you've seen up to this point. Well, not all the way up. Just, just like the last second. Okay. Give me one second. Hey, hey! What are you doing spinning? Yeah, I'm looking at yeah, what, you. What? What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Poke an eye out. What are you doing? Biding my time. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm checking on a thing. Saw we. <clears throat> I have to, I have to update a thing. Oh, good. Okay. So we'll do this. Seven parts there. Oh, there we go. You did extract some stuff. That's fine. I'll allow that. Uh, I'm pausing. I'm pausing. Y'all moving around. You're making me nervous. <laughs> I'm supposed to take care of her, and she's right. running away. <laughs> she just basically would tap him like, oh, "No, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. You won't. I'm, I'm the big guy." Stop running. Stop running. <laughs> she just walked around the corner and on this little thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, I've got to do, I'm doing one. Throws up like rainbows. <laughs> oh my God. The amount of radiation she's had just comes Ooh. out like oh. rainbows. <laughs> okay. God, what's that anime that that happens in? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh gosh. I think that's, 
It's either Adventure Time or. I'm just going to the, oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once again, because my ADD brain can't fucking settle on a system. I have once again changed the rules of the craft, the carving system. <laughs> what the fuck? Of well, the carving system. It's more involved now, and you're gonna get a lot more loot. Okay. You, you oh, okay. all right? You all right with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Okay. So now, instead of when you carve from a creature and getting generic parts, uh, big, um, uh, big fights like this, uh, will actually have a list of parts that you can carve off of them including parts for free so if you spend the time to carve you get you immediately get uh some you immediately get um parts that just is an easy boom boom like there's no way you can fail it um and then there are select key parts that you can go ahead and try and carve from um each with their own dc each with their own duration of carve and each with their own market value if you fail the DC, you fail the carve, and there's no way to get it back. Does that make sense? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, um, I what are, the, what are, are the checks nature survival? Uh, it depends on on what you're carving. For this one, this would definitely be medicine or uh, survival. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Um. So because of this. Uh, system has evolved. Uh, we will actually be going back to the other bosses and giving you oh. the opportunities to carve these new parts as well. And I've oh, already shit. and I've already changed your crafting materials to the parts that you, the instant parts you already have gathered. Um, I will assume some of the bonus parts that you had uh, you used to make potions and grenades, and uh, and we'll be good. We'll be good. So, uh, first thing off the bat, you ready to get started? Uh. Real quick, yes. do we get uh, respite points? Yeah. Would you like to spend that now, or would you like to start? Um, would you like I to would. start carving? Okay. I would like to do respite points before we we do any any carving. All right. So you uh, for this boss, you will get four respite points. Uh, we'll start from uh, top to bottom. Who's the highest on the map current? Why? Why? why wait. Hey. Where's Masika? Hey! Yeah, I was looking for her. Uh, Look around. Hey, where's oh, Masika? What are you uh, doing? I can't, you know. We lost the rackling. She ran ahead. <laughs> and her her feet. All right, well, Masika's oh last then. Here we go. Um, Marius, you have four respite points to spend. If you need a, a reminder of what to spend them on, let me know. I got I'll... notes, baby. I got it. Okay. So I'm going to you... spend... Two of them immediately to gain a second level spell slot. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to spend the remain two for hit points. <laughs> Please and thank you. Understood. I will get you. All right. I've added two hit die. You're free to roll them as you see fit. Fantastic. I will, uh, I will do so. By the way, you guys are going to be doing more stuff with your character sheet because I should be letting you guys do more stuff with your character sheet. It'll save a lot of time. That's uh, me. Uh, all right, Vanya, you have four respite points. What would you like to spend them on? Um, can I just get hit dice? You sure can. Uh, Thank you. I will add four hit dice to your total. Um, so what you're going to do um, is when you go to your character sheet, you're going to click the cog that's in the hit dice box, and then you're going to press the roll button. Uh, which will spend a hit dice. It'll ask you a question. You're going to want to say normal because you're not rolling an advantage. Adjust hit dice? Uh, no. So when when you go to hit dice and you click the uh, call. Co- yeah. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. Yes, correct. I am so sorry. You are you are right. Yes, it'll okay. a pop-up comes up saying adjust hit dice. Go ahead and click the cog. Okay, and then just save? Uh, you will roll. Oh, uh, roll. So every sorry. time you roll, it spends a hit dice and automatically heals you. Ah. So that's one. You have three more. Very good. Very good. There you go. Oh, Ex- shit. Massive, actually. Mm. Amazing. Huge. Gareth, you have four Huge. respite Finally. points. What would you like to spend them on? I would just like four hit dice, please. And so you shall have four hit dice. Um, Same. Ooh. Yeah. Go ahead and spend them now. 
Um, I don't want to spend them. What? Oh, you don't have to. That's right. <laughs> I don't want to spend them. God. <laughs> Cheats. I just want the dice. I just want the dice. Cheats. Yes, I would like some uh, some hit dice, please. How many would you like? Four. And so you shall. By the way, make sure you all uh, complete a short rest at this time. Uh, and then you could spend them now if you so uh, if you desire cheats all right you little stinker uh Vizika, what would you like yeah so i've given myself two key points and one sentinel's flask charge and i would like to use one to heal okay so as a friendly reminder yeah you regain all of your key points at a short rest why so do you, i keep forgetting that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so you have two respite <laughs> points remaining. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> God, I'm dumb. Wait, now, can I heal? Huh? Yes, you can. You can you can increase your hit dice by two. Yeah. All right. Well, then in that case, I'm going to use give my I'm going to fill up my Sentinel's flask charges. <laughs> okay. You can handle that on your own. Um, yeah, I did that. Um I'm and I'm going to give Use use one to heal, and huh. then uh, beautiful. Feel free to do so. See if I can maybe store the other one. Let's see. So if I have five save changes, and then I roll one. Ooh! All right. Then Ooh. I'll keep the other one, I guess. Math with Naomi. Yeah. Okay. Respite has been spent. Well done, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to immediately expend my second level spell slot to cast Enhance Ability. <laughs> Brilliant. He had a plan. I'm going to give myself Fox's Cunning. He had a plan. All right. Uh, I would like to uh, help, by the way. That's why I'm sitting right next to him. I'm going to help him carve. I don't know. Was uh, Gareth helping? I want to help. You can help. Oh. It's okay. I, I, gotta, thought you were, I, gotta, I thought you were it's okay. I gotta look at cheats anyway. Garrus, no, baby, go don't worry him. about cheats it. Cheats already said, okay, do dude, you wanna, I'm good. Like, change hey, how you doing? spots? No, you're 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 Get gonna. Away from me. You you <laughs> you will be assisting. Uh, you will be assisting Marius. All right, cool. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna, Ooh, gonna hold up what her is, hair? I'm just uh, if I can retrograde real quick. Yes. What is assistance give me again advantage oh can i yes <laughs> thank you you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> much appreciated yeah you're welcome <laughs> uh, well with vanya's assistance then i will cast uh guidance on myself instead as you um, shall and you said a medicine check or a survival check do we get to see the list yes you do I was waiting for you. So the first thing you're going to pluck off. Um, so here are your, here's the, um, here's the, the moments of operation. So I'm going to see if I, if I copy paste this, does it come out that? Okay. Um, the first one is going to be the Hecaton skull. There is only one of those parts. Uh, no carve DC required. This is something that you can just do for free. Uh, it takes 10 minutes to carve and its market value is one thousand credits christ uh next is the ruby limb there's only one part to car you'll only get one from the carve um oh no sorry um next is the uh hecaton slime matter uh which when upon carving you will get 2d4 parts the carved dc is 18 it takes 10 minutes to carve and each uh part is worth 100 credits type gold pieces out of habit uh next up is the ruby limb uh you get one there's uh, from that carve you get one part the dc for that is 22 uh this is a this is a hefty carve this will take you 30 minutes uh but the, but it is worth 1250 credits upon carve next is the irra irradiated uh, man, I totally butchered that. Irradiated Blood Orb, which again, uh, once you carve, you only get one of. Uh, the DC is 20. Uh, the it takes 10 minutes to carve. Uh, and that is valued at 1,000 credits. 
And then finally, the Hecaton Femur. Uh, one of that for the carve. The DC is 10. Uh, the carve duration is one minute. It literally is you grabbing the femur, snapping it, <laughs> and then taking it with you. Oh, uh, nice. That's 250 <laughs> credits. It's a little bit more of a detailed uh, carving system, but hopefully one that you will enjoy. Okay. So if, if let's say he goes for a part and he fails, then can he try for a different part, or is it? Oh done? yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is oh, a whole okay, process. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have all enough right. time so we can for go. all of it. Yes. Yeah, right. Down the line. Basically. Yes, you can. Like, yes, you can. Hey. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Then, uh, uh, but yeah, also we'll... another thing is so oh. right right now we got Vanya assisting you, so that immediately gives you advantage. Uh, other people can also be carving from the same creature to save time, so that way they so they could be like be carving a different part while you're carving a part. Carving Ooh. party. Yes. Does anybody else have medicine or survival? I have plus one survival. <laughs> not proficient. <Understood>. So. <laughs> Marius cracks his knuckles very well. <laughs> Bound by responsibility. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to try the... Uh, I don't see a DC, so I assume the Hecaton Skull is just 10 minutes and we get it. Correct. Perfect. Spend 10 minutes uh with with great ease uh you managed to get the hecaton skull cut out i'll oh I'll, I'll, I'll be uh updating your uh carving materials as we go by the way oh perfect nice yeah i like to imagine with uh, Please. vanya's more keen assistance on things aberrant and undead uh being a very proficient hunter uh it's her pointing out parts and marius sort of like a uh like with a scalpel, basically just hewing skin and cutting away the irradiated flesh to get these parts. All right, 10 minutes is spent. Uh, we're gonna try and get the Hecaton Slime Matter. All right, the DC for this is tw uh, uh, is 18, and this will take 10 minutes of time. Okay. Do we need a bucket for this? Then Let's see that guidance. All right. Yeah, don't roll the d4 for me. Uh, game. Hey! Ooh. Uh, Ooh, go ahead. Skin of my goddamn teeth. Go ahead and roll a 2d4. Excellent. Uh, you get three <laughs> uh, three slime matters, hecaton slime matters, uh, and uh, each worth uh, 100 credits. Okay. Another 10 minutes to pass. Uh, we'll go for how we feeling. Do we feel 30 minutes might be too long or? I need that ruby limb for my charge X. Yeah, I'm farming crests right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we'll go for it. All right, let's see it. This is going to take you 30 minutes. Ooh, one second. Beautiful. Uh, the C is 22. Yep. You successfully carve the ruby limb worth nice. 1,250 credits. Nice. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for the blood orb. Okay. Uh, same spiel as before. Assistance from Vanya pointing it out and then. Uh, oh, yeah. There it is. Cut there. <laughs> There's a, a, a small nod as the lights on the helmet sort of more directly illuminate this weird exoskeleton that it has. Uh, and with guidance, try to uh, carve this one. Success, 1000 credits earned. I forgot what the last one was. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, sort of hewing and cutting and severing all of this irradiated flesh, uh, the femur is presented and he goes, do you think that's worth anything? Uh, regardless, I think you should take it. All right. And we'll go for the, uh, the femur. <laughs> Come on, that one, let's go. <laughs> right, how do you easily just after a minute just snap the femur off? Uh, worth 250 credits. 
there's a uh, this sort of slow automated sound as he stands up where along his wrists it sort of sprays uh, sort of like a oh God, like rubbing alcohol mm-hmm. and he's sort of like disinfecting his hands from all the sludge as he uh, yeah as he basically stands and holds the the last thing which would be the femur and be like right I believe aside from this thing being a walking nightmare uh, I believe everything of value to a hunter has been taken you did good well done I wouldn't have been able to do it without your guidance so thank you you're welcome we got some valuable things I think he nods and looks around and realizes uh, it's just them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and goes, uh, where are the others? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the hallway, uh, while all, all that's going on, uh, what are the three of you doing? Well, as soon as they said that it was time to leave, Vizika would have come in here and been like, oh my God, it's dead now. I can finally search this room. And she's going to thoroughly search this room without worrying about dropping trays and stuff. Excellent. Give me an investigation check. Uh, as you sort of look around it, um, you don't seem to find anything of value within this room. Does she find anything not of value? <laughs> oh, uh, plenty of stuff. Yeah, like old, like just old, old, uh, like blankets and, and bandages and stuff like that. She's going to take the smallest blanket. And so you shall. And wrap it around her like a little cape. It's beige. Yay. Oh, it's not even like sterile blue. <laughs> it's beige. Yep. <laughs> Baby oh. blanket. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. You're gonna be cape buddies. Yes. Yeah, Gareth would have heard all the clanking from her searching and just come in and say, "I don't know about you, but once we reach our destination, I, I really need a drink." Oh yeah, I could use one too. Actually, you know what? I um, let me see what I have. She starts ruffling through her pack. Oh, mm. let's see. Um, I do have one more uh, tequila. Oh, uh, yeah. You can keep that for yourself. That. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've got shadow grog too, but that's for my staff. Very well. I'll go check on the others and see how they're doing. How you doing? That wasn't so bad, right? We did it. You okay? Oh. Hi. Are you are you okay? Look behind you. I don't know why these are here. So I'm just gonna <laughs> pretend. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend they're Cheats' trauma <laughs> manifesting itself. Look at what? What am I looking at? Her, like, eyes grow wide. <laughs> like, the ears on top of her head just go, like, in different directions. <laughs> and she just... No, it's good. Hey, it's good. We should wait for everybody else. It's gonna be okay. Come here. Yeah, she beckons a claw. No, I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna climb gonna, in like, here, okay? I'm just. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> she I'm just goes into into the bush and like lays <laughs> down. Um, Vizika's gonna untie the cape from around her neck and and tie it around Cheats, and give her a little pat on the head. I think you need this more than I do. Just think. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. It's nice she like looks back at her. It? You look like a slot. What? Yeah, your skin's all red. What? Nothing. Nothing. No, I took you off look my great. cape, not my. I I got that. I got that blanket from the other room. I'm not yeah. naked. Yeah. No, you you're not. You're definitely not. What do you mean? I look like a slut. I said slime. <laughs> oh, so <they> heard also. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I, oh, oh, slime. Oh, 
Oh, but I, I'm covered in fur. How could he look like either of those things? <laughs> I didn't say that. Why, why would you say that? You don't look like a slime. Uh, what? Why would you say that? That's so weird. Why did you say that? I didn't say that. You did say that. Did not. Okay. <laughs> oh. Why'd you do that? <laughs> what a you great so friend. <laughs> oh, why did you do that? <laughs> After, like, Bobby. Why do you... You look great. Thanks, you too. That cape really suits you. <laughs> I'm not a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my, I think that's my one of my favorite lines in IO history. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not a slut. <laughs> what? Sincerely hurt. I'm crying. I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, a slime. Wait a minute, I don't look like any of those things. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> just turns away and is like, you look great. <laughs> oh, I would say uh, you look great too, but you look better. Yeah. You should see me in the dress. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. I can't believe Azik is actually hesitant about something. <laughs> I'm glad she's not a loom. <laughs> she's probably getting a lot out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, I stepped in. <laughs> oh. 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 Vomit trails <laughs> into the exit. Um... <laughs> you want some just... water? <laughs> <laughs> no, i am I'm got some, I'm um, good. Okay. Zika's gonna, like, pour some water over the vomit and then realize it's making a bigger mess and then stop. And she's going to stand here, ready to warn people to avoid it. <laughs> Put a little, like, caution sign up. Like, find one of those, like, yeah, just caution <laughs> signs. All right. Uh, Cheats, what are you doing? Just going home. Okay, Cheats is <laughs> she's going. She's mumbling as she walks along the hallway. <laughs> Time to go home. Trying to look for the way out. <laughs> and what are, the, what are the three of you doing? <laughs> Seeing Gareth return. Where are the others? Oh, uh, they're wandering around. Uh, they're fine, I'm sure. We're all done here, yeah? No, with this one, yes. Uh, right. Well, this we is can a dangerous back. place. They should not be wandering around like that. Well, no, well, we should go check up on them then. You are a terrible babysitter. I was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you had any argument. <laughs> yeah, avoid the vomit. Where, where did Cheats go? Points. Vomit. Uh, she's in that hallway. She's walking. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, avoid the vomit. She points. Why did you throw up? It wasn't me. It was her. Ew, what's the smell? She points. Uh, she's vomited. I'm, yeah. Oh. Cheats. <clears throat> Cheats. <laughs> Where did she go? She, she, she went, she went, she, she was walking back to the ship, I think. I don't, oh, all the way, all right. <laughs> she, what the, f oh. Hmm. I don't remember my way around this place. I don't remember. <laughs> You're going the right way, come on. Oh, good, good, good. There's a thing at my hope bar. I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what yeah. Uh, oh, there's a boss in there. They're <laughs> dead. Oh, it's yes. standing up though. Yeah, something about the some update. Something about something got updated and it don't. Okay, they're all gone. Don't worry about it. Oh. Uh, but speaking oh, of, there was a, a raccoon in my head that said we'd be harvesting hey, the parts of the other bosses. This way. So. Uh, <laughs> it's this way. This way. 
No, we're heading south. No, I'm telling oh, her way. it's this way. She's it's this way. Oh, uh -huh. but she oh, was over there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that thing just took 231 damage. <laughs> I think it's this way. God, I'm psychic damage. God, I'm poor. On uh, door, knock, knock, door. She just kind of knock, knock, clambers knock. over it. It worked. Uh, Careful of the pipe. Oh, here you are. Okay. I disabled oh, yeah. those. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. waves to the camera. Uh, hello. <laughs> and oh, those are I disabled as well. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, are you all leaving the Mastiff Station? <laughs> not without my parts, I'm not. You'll uh, you'll do that and then leave the Mastiff Station. Is that correct? Yeah, give me my parts. Okay. Give me, so. give me a fucking second. <laughs> Make grabby hands. Give me. Uh, but everyone wishes to depart. Is that correct? After finding right. Cheats, yes. Okay. Where's mm. Cheats? Where she's, she she's here. She's right here. No, well, I'm, I mean, I'm asking, like, story-wise, oh, well, where is Cheats? She's right Cheats? here. Well, she's right here. <laughs> uh, Cheats, what are, you, what are you currently doing? Trying to leave. All right, so you are also leaving, correct? Very much so. In fact, she'd be sitting at the, like, doorway the door. waiting. She's there against the wall, just slumped over, waiting to leave. Understood. Another thing to note, that when we rest, we have a number of hours before we're to return and gather the, uh, the cell for the barge. Oh, yes. <sighs> How long is on that, anyway? Like... Ooh like five and a half hours hmm uh -huh. 30, yeah. 40 50 it's been an hour it's an hour 10 that's one minute oh never mind uh so an hour and one minute from our how did it take us any lengthy amount of time to travel from the bridge down to the morgue uh, yeah, so you, you you have about five and a half hours remaining. Understood. Oh, do you want to? Did you want to like go like up the ladder in the elevator? You mean down? Oh uh, no, we went down, right? No, I mean the, up. The, it was down. Well, there was more down, but there was also up. We went down. Oh, there was up. Oh God, there's so much to explore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the ship. <laughs> you sure? There might be more alcohol. Hmm? There might be more alcohol. I'm not sure I want any alcohol from this ship. I don't. Probably want... tainted, anyways. I don't want the alcohol. Mm. I have Shadow Grog. So if we find some, I'll take the tainted alcohol and you can have the Shadow Grog. I will say that there was the light at the bottom of the stairs, so, or the bottom of the ladder. If we went and explored, there is a very high likelihood that we'll run into resistance. Yeah, but didn't you, like, turn everything off on the station? Is there really going to be any more resistance? In five hours, the power will be drawn from all of the remaining power, but more than likely, that'll put us in a very precarious situation. Yeah, we'll get out of there before then. All right. So before we continue any further, let's go ahead and take a break. Uh, we'll be right back.
Hey, welcome back, everyone. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hello. Okay. Hello. So, uh, so I'm going to do the following since everyone has decided they would like to leave. Um, I oh, do understand. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Um, I know uh, Vizika would like to search the place. Uh, I know Marius would like to make sure that everything has been picked clean. <laughs> um, so the first thing we're going to do is kick you out. So here we go. Um, <laughs> you don't get any of that. Ha ha. Uh, dungeon closed. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, funny. No, yeah. uh, no, we're going to, we're going to do some, we're going to do some checks now, but we're going to do it on the space barge. Mm. Kind of like in the idle background. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. So first off, uh, we're going to start with Vizika, who would like to do a check of the station. Yeah. So go ahead and give me an investigation check. Okay. See what you're fine. Okay, that's not so bad. So you kind of scamper around the station and everything is pretty idle. Like nothing seems to be in motion. Nothing's moving. Um, any sort of automated system seems to be deactivated. Uh, you see that there are a lot of fires still present within the station that is going to continue to spread throughout. Unfortunately, without any um, f like e any extinguishing systems available, that's just eventually just going to continue to burn down the station. There's really not much that can be done about that, unfortunately. Nah, don't worry about it. You're you're about to leave this place. So you means you're gonna start looking around, uh, gathering as much as you can. Um, and you specifically told me you're looking for just valuable scrap, things like that. Yeah. So and alcohol. And alcohol. So we'll start with this. Uh you will find yourself uh two hundred and fifteen credits worth of uh of just miscellaneous scrap. Oh. Oh. Misc scrap. Don't thank me. You found it. Thanks, Dice. And then final. No. Thanks, me. There we go. I'm going to do a death saving throw. Okay. Uh, oh. this, has been, this has been a dry ship. You find no alcohol. Oh. You find a bunch of empty bottles, though, but that's about it. I'll take two of those. I would like two empty bottles. Thank you. You got it. Okay. I'm just going to say two empty bottles. Yeah. Okay. That takes about an hour of your time. Okay. Marius. Cool. What do you want to do? Nothing? <laughs> uh, no, I want to... I want to look for any spare parts we might have missed. So you are also exploring with Fizika on that. Mm-hmm. All right. Go and give an investigation check. This DC is going to be higher. Very well. Uh, guidance. You too will find... 114 credits worth of various uh, materials, credits, valuables, things of that nature. Perfect. One moment. Okay. <clears throat> Close. What else would you like to do, Marius? Uh, in that uh, searching, uh, do we find any uh, rogue massive parts? I think you will. So, this is you returning back to the bosses, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. Okay, so we will first start off with the massive security mark Mach 2 um, to see what you can gather. So far, you've already gathered the following. Uh, the massive steel alloy, 
um, the four times that you managed to salvage off of this thing. That was a free five minute check. You already managed to do that. Uh, the next thing um, you also, uh, we will include this as well, um, that you had already plucked away. Um, but there are now three new parts that you can still excavate. Uh, Ooh, okay. uh, the next thing is the CPU of the machine, the advanced security CPU. There's one that you, uh, there's, you get one from the uh, carve. It's a DC 20. Uh, you can use, um, <clears throat> you can use your tinker tools for this, by the way. Understood. Survival check or tinker's tools. Um, or Smith's tools. That works as well. Uh, DC 20, it's going to take you 10 minutes. That's worth 1,000 credits. Um, the market value is 1,000 credits. <clears throat> uh, okay. Next is the sorted weapon security parts uh, that you get one of. And uh, the DC is 18. It's another 10 minutes, and that's worth 700 credits. And then finally, the prototype armor plating. DC 18, 10 minutes worth 700 credits. Oh, sick names. Uh, can I have Gareth assist me? Uh, of course. Absolutely. If Gareth would like Oh, okay. To. I see. I see how it is. Mm. All right. That's fine. Because because it's, okay. it's using Smith's tools. No, so yeah, I that's assume, fine. That's okay. Yeah. No, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you I'm should just like... learn how to use Smith's right. tools. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I'm going to need help with Sailor Tools. So just for... <laughs> Everybody mm -hmm. just no. be on standby. No, I'm, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not hurt or anything. Hurt, confused, and embarrassed. <laughs> I'm shitting. Uh, I'm farting. We're gonna, <laughs> with Gareth's assistance, use the Smith tools and use uh, guidance on myself. Excellent. Guide dance. What will you be? Well, what what you? Oh, okay. sorry. It yeah. has been down the line. All right, so uh, that role will not count then, because uh, gotcha. I need you to, yeah, I need you to inform me what you will be uh, picking first. Apologies. Yeah, we'll go down the line. We'll start with the CPU. Ah, I gave you a freebie. I'll take that 19. I'm kidding. Uh, go ahead and roll. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> shit, damn it. So 30. Shit, fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. All right, yep, you get the CPU. Herb. Excellent. It would be uh, with Gareth's assistance, mostly uh, using Gareth's like raw strength to basically pry apart a lot of the paneling, um, allowing Marius to sort of get into the uh, into the interior. Yeah. Excellent. We're gonna go for the weapon parts. Okay. Wow. S success. You know, there is such thing as being too humble. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, 29, JK, uh, 30. How about now? <laughs> All right. Uh, you successfully uh, pluck out the uh, uh, the security weapon parts. I think I think some part of my brain is still on the way that you did it before, where it was like you have you over succeed and you yeah get yeah yeah yeah. So my brain's like you have to, you have yeah. to do it. Please, you have to do it <laughs> really well. Uh, All the numbers. We're gonna go for the armor plating. Okay, let's see how you do. Uh ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. You just you made that one mm. seven hundred credits. And now you blew it out of the water. It's fine. Uh, so that will be uh, another 30 minutes, which will be up, 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 up. Okay. All right. So you managed to pluck everything out of that. Very good. I'm just going to real quick. Test of security. Mark two. And then finally, we're going to do. Okay. Next down the list is the armory mimic. So we got a couple of things you all have already plucked from here, uh, starting with the steel teeth. Uh, you have success. Uh, the, you have plucked out nine teeth, uh, which you get from default. Um, but there are three more parts you have yet to extract. Okay. And I'll go bottom uh, to top from this one. Uh, first off is a slimy storage plating. Uh, the DC is. <laughs> The Whoa. DC is 12 because you're literally just ripping off plates. 
Uh, and it's worth 300 credits. Uh, next is the eroded Mastiff weapon, sort of collected from the gullet of this thing. It's a five-minute process with a DC of 15. Uh, it is valued at 430 credits. Uh, but the uh, the big get uh, for this one uh, is going to be the Bewildered Mimic Tendril. Um, oh. It's a DC 23, 10 minutes to extract, and worth wow. 700 credits. Okay, I want to say uh, I really like I really like this. Uh, yeah. the, the being able to see what the part is, what the DC is, what the time is, and what its value is. I like this already. Excellent. Happy to hear that. Uh, what are the uh, What are the parameters for this one? What this will the... This will be okay. So uh, the eroded mastiff weapons the, and the slimy store uh, storage plating uh, will be uh, same as before. Smith tools or tinkers tools. The bewildered mimic tendril will be a survival check. Understood. Okay, that's the scary one. Uh, mm. All right, we're gonna go down the line using, uh, with the assistance of Gareth. Um, we're gonna you, we're gonna try and harvest the storage plating. All right, let's see how you do. I mean, easy. It was a DC twelve. You and you just rip that <laughs> chunk of metal off. Yep. Uh, you get the slimy storage plating. All right. Um, having heard the request before from Vanya, uh, we're going to try to, uh, get out that eroded Mastiff weapon. Okay. Success. Mm -hmm. You managed to get the eroded Mastiff weapon. And I think this would be where Marius changes up gears and would be like, this part isn't mechanical in nature. It's more a part of the beast. I believe it would be best for Vanya. Gareth goes back. Vanya, you're up. Hmm. You need my help. <laughs> uh, Marius would like your assistance. Oh, really? Hmm. I've done all yeah. I could. You're not good I'm, enough now? Uh, I'm just going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Be sleepy. <laughs> she did a lot of work. This portion of the entity is more akin to uh, its actual body, um, where my knowledge is rather lacking. As such, I would like to be of assistance to you this time. I see. I are you sure about that? <laughs> you I mean I've seen your your capabilities before above board hey what's your survival check <laughs> <laughs> hey hey uh, well I'm not proficient but I got a plus two I look wisdom. at the I look at the ranger huh <laughs> <laughs> well would you say you say you weren't proficient uh, no I'm not I'm not Really? Oh. <laughs> well, you, you thought you thought so. Well, uh, <laughs> huh. what's she gonna do, <laughs> Marius? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> hmm. You've just told her you've seen her at action. Yeah. I mean. Some kind of action. I mean, you're incredibly lethal with that rifle. You've never skinned a beast before? Well, depends on what beast we're talking about. Well, any of the aberrant beings in Asmodia. I had my fair share, let's say that, of, of beasts and, uh... Yeah, I have skinned a... Yes, yes, yes. Like, yeah, uh, Vanya has definitely skinned a beast. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> hey, uh, anyway. Hey, Vizika, Anyways. what's your you, what's your survival score? <laughs> wow. Oh, God. What? I'm not. I just want to know. I just want to know. Are you? 
I'm not per proficient, but it's a plus three. Oh my good. Oh my good. So this is what this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Marius? This is what I'm gonna do. What I'm, are you gonna do? I'm gonna call yes. Vizika over. Oh really? Yes. Vizika's gonna help you. Uh, with with carving up this beast. I'm gonna cast uh, I'm going to enhance your uh your capabilities. Mine. Oh, Probably oh, hers, but Oh, mm. And what, what am your, I going to do? Your dexterous hands are still needed. Vizika! <laughs> oh my god. Would you come over here for oh a god. moment? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? What is it? Consider this a, a team This is bonding. embarrassing. It's not okay. embarrassing. Everybody has their strengths. What are we doing? No. Uh, we need your dexterous rackling hands. Oh uh, okay. For what? For what? Vanya is going to be assisting you in removing this. Uh, what is it? It is uh, a, a part of the, uh, a pseudo part of this entity. Mm. Okay. And I am going to give you this. And he would pull out uh, sort of a panel drops on his chest piece. And he pulls out one of those hexagon-like uh, little nodes and he would affix it uh, momentarily to her cloth and it sort of latches and immediately uh, her sort of musculature tenses. Ooh. She sniffs at it and licks it. It tastes incredibly metallic. <laughs> okay. All right, whatever you're wanting. Uh, all right, she, she claws out. She goes in. All right, so I believe this is, is she getting, does she have a, what did she get? She's getting help from Vanya. Mm -hmm. And guidance from me. Excellent. Uh, go so and roll a help, By help from Vanya, by the way, Vanya is literally doing nothing. She's just standing there as like still as possible, just arms on the side. Just <laughs> so Vanya's half not lids, helping. Half closed. Wow. That's what's no, happening. Oh, not really. Oh, She's Vizika, like. <laughs> Vizika's going to look back and be like. <laughs> Vanya, help me! I'm going in! And like expects, like puts her arms out and expects to be held, basically. <laughs> Vanya will sigh, just audibly, and look down to Vizika. You want uppies? Her arms are out like she's ready to swan dive. She's focused purely on the prey in front of her. I'm going in. Do you want to be swung? Come. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to take her and just throw her. What? <laughs> no, in I the air towards <laughs> it. <laughs> how high we uh, how high we hope throw it up there, uh, Vanya? <laughs> I mean, um, she didn't do how anything high wrong. now? <laughs> Not like too high, but a few feet in the air. <laughs> All right. You know? Right. Okay. When you so toss like, her a, a couple feet. <laughs> when you toss her, she's going to <laughs> midair. She's going to channel all of her energy and power. And she's going to spend a key point to do three flips. Oh, oh dang! With like step of the wind, she's gonna <laughs> and land and and dive into. <laughs> Let's do a survival <laughs> check normally on this one. <laughs> uh, oh no! And as she lands into the maw of the corpse, immediately any sort of appendage or or fleshy surface or anything like that just just squelches immediately. Uh, that was a fail, I'm going to say. She reaches down and like in her claws, she like picks up hunks of whatever just squelched and pops out. I got it. Maria, Marius, I'm happy to report she does not got it. You know what? I'll take that. Just hand it over. She hands over the squelchy parts, non parts. <laughs> he would grab her by like the scruff of her robe to pull her out so that way she doesn't have to crawl out, set her onto the ground. 
Thank you. She very proudly hands over uh, the the scraps of whatever goop is in her hands. You're welcome. Yeah. You are so welcome. I'll help you anytime. I appreciate it. He would take it. <laughs> you have oh. squelched. What the is moment, the squelch? Mimic the part. moment she turns around to leave, he throws it back into the mimic. <laughs> 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 Damn it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you going to... Uh... Vanya, Vanya will kind of look at Marius for a split second and say, I'm sorry. And she's just going to walk away. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, how did it go? Not well. Oh. All right, then. Back to bed. Let me add him. Okay. So Ceratos has the following. Uh, you have successfully already extracted the Ceratos matter that is in your inventory worth 2,000 credits. Uh, the next thing that you can try to extract... Oh, actually, no, you've... Mm, no, not yet. Uh, if you successfully do so, we get to roll a 44. It takes 10 minutes. The DC is 20. Uh, and each slime matter is worth 100 credits each. Uh, next is a grade one Hecaton shard, which is sort of like this crystallized, uh, energy of, hmm. of, uh, of, of, of the Hecaton entity. It's 10. Who's Hecaton guy? It's a 10 minute carve. Uh, it is uh, DC 22 and it is worth 1500. Mm. Uh, next is the, uh, one second, the irradiated blood orb, which I'm sure you remember from before. Mm -hmm. Um, DC 20, 10 minutes, uh, and this one's worth 1,000, uh, credits. Let me just go ahead and select this and go, woohoo! However, the beefiest of the Ceratos carves is the Eye of Ceratos, which is a 30-minute carve, DC 25, Whoa. But if you are successful, it's worth 2,500 credits. Damn. So what are my we, parameters? Uh, your parameters will be a survival check. Mm. For all four? Correct. Guys, I don't think we're getting anything from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to call, we're going to call the Zika over again. <laughs> the only one with a survival <laughs> skill. Oh, did you need me to do it again? Indeed, I do. Okay. She rubs her claws together. We're going to... Try to get Bonnie to assist this time. <laughs> all right. I'm going to need to help me study. Okay. All right. Talk it's okay. Bit. Then I will cast <laughs> Guidance on Vizika. No throwing this time. It was really fun. And it worked. So you can do it again if you want to. Maybe not, later. Not with a being like this. This requires a level of Tact and care. Okay. I guess, yeah, he kind of stung when I, like, poked him, so. All right. With a lot less energy, Zika's going to reach out and claw him up. Which part? Um, she looks around. So, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> You're going for the slime matter first. 
Uh, how is Vani assisting? I am going to have her head like in my hands and kind of turn it where she needs to be looking at to like okay. show her the part that she needs to be carving. Fantastic. Uh, Vizika, go ahead and give me a survival check at advantage. You have successfully carved the Hecaton Slime Matter. Go ahead and roll 4d4 for me. He did it. No, no, 44 for you. For how four. many parts? Oh, that was my guidance. Oh. Yeah. Four, for how many four. parts you successfully crafted or Ooh. gathered? Oh, that's a uh, nice. Oh. Sorry. All right, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you uh. crying? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, average of 44 is 10. It's okay. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, you get uh, seven of the Hecaton Slime Matter. Uh, each worth 100 credits. I've added it to Vizika's inventory. Uh, next, uh, what would you like to uh, try to carve now? Her eyes are wide. All right, for next. What's next? You're going to go for the shard. Uh, oh, I'm no. going to take the he her head and guide it so that she can look at it. Her eyes widen like dinner plates when she sees it. Okay. Uh, as you go oh. in to reach for it, uh, it's fragile state. Oh, wait, hold on. No, no. 21. 21. 22. It's fra yeah, it's same thing. It's fragile state. You go in to grab it and it just shatters and <gasps> dissolves away into the corpse. Oh. Was that meant to happen? I doubt it. <laughs> the lights on Marius's helmet dim momentarily. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> okay, what next? Well, we're already this far. <laughs> There's a orb of congealed blood. <laughs> Oh. Are your hands at it? You Crunchers for claws. My augmentation. Oh my gosh. That I do. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I can't even help you. Roll, roll the D4. <laughs> oh my game. gosh. Oh, you dropped wow. it again. <laughs> So, so oh. the same thing happens. You go into <laughs> grab, and you're cool. like, but this time I'm going to be very gentle with it. And uh, you go to grab, and just a little too hard, it just shatters within the corpse. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and try your hands at the eye. Oh. Remember, this being almost killed us. Yeah, but then we, we killed it. Nearly died for yep. all of this, so be just slightly more careful. Okay. I'm quite literally begging you. <laughs> I'm only gonna get this out of nat 20, so... <laughs> oh, wait. No. Oh. Physically in fucking possible. <laughs> if only it was a nat 20. He turns. He starts walking away. <laughs> oh, no. Good stuff, guys. <laughs> I pat Vizika's head. I feel Good like job. I could. I feel like I could have done better. No, you did great. Thanks. It's okay. He'll get over it. Okay. That's what's important. <laughs> He'll get <Sure>. over it. <laughs> Oh, 
What? I'm a moron. What? Can we... Is it possible <clears throat> for my own mm -hmm. sanity uh -huh. to retrograde some flash of geniuses? <sighs> for the ones that we missed by one, potentially? <laughs> I have two charges. You didn't... It would add a plus three to the roll. <laughs> you didn't... Oh, I know. I, I know. Can't... I can't. I can't. You, the, the time has passed. You did not flash of genius. I'm sorry. Understood. <laughs> I understand. I abide by your ruling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marius, oh uh, God, as he's walking them. away, his helmet, his entire set muted as he's walking away inside <laughs> of the camera. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I hope this will be. Unmute. Yeah, I hope this will be a. Uh, I hope this will be a lesson that you'll never, never forget. forget. Flash of genius again. <laughs> well, now Marius has depression. It's <laughs> so what? sad. I mean, I'm, it is. Marius is standing. At the edge of the barge, arms folded behind his back. You know what? You know staring what? Off into the abyss. You know what? I'm. I'm Don't give me pity now. Don't give me. No, pity no, now. no, no. You know what? You know what? I won't be giving you pity. Uh, I will let you do one flash of genius, if <gasps> if chat hmm. says so. Hmm. Oh. If the chat votes yes or no, I'll have them decide. We'll see how generous chat is. And if chat ultimately says yes, well then, I will allow it for just one. I steeple my fingers. It, Me. It's looking like a surefire thing. <laughs> Chat is being very generous. <laughs> <laughs> Chat is being extremely like 81 to 19 percent. So Listen, the man got partnered tonight, okay? We can't benevolent have Chad. <laughs> benevolent <laughs> dictators. Every once uh, every once in a while you just gotta see what chat's feeling, you know? I just know with my uh with level with my uh my level ups in the future i know what i'm putting proficiency into <laughs> it's survival is it a, is on, it a plus after three? being shamed like that i know i know what i'm putting proficiency into as well all after right being shamed so 82 percent says yes Whoop. you may flash of genius so what would Good you job, like to Jack. flash of genius into uh the most interesting thing on this i like the shard uh, but the eye of Ceratos is, it just reminds me of the, uh, the eye of, the eye Wait, of Sauron but, or eye of... <clears throat> But if you added three to that one, we'd still be one short. It's a DC 25 and we got a 21. Oh, I thought I rolled higher. Oh. No, that was a two. <clears throat> you could get either the, the shard or the irradiated blood orb. Sadness keeps on coming. Uh, Marius mutes his helmet again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess the blood shard. That'd be the. We already have a blood orb, so we might as well get one. Uh, one of the unique parts. All the right, the grade one hecaton shard. So be it. One thousand five hundred credits. Yeah, thank you, Chad. <laughs> thank you, Chad, for taking pity on me. I eat the eye. All right. Um, <clears throat> as you all are gathered around, uh, suddenly, making sure his size is appropriate, it wasn't fucking going to be, but I fixed it. <gasps> Cheetle hops back on after plugging everything onto the station mm -hmm. itself. <sighs> It's good to see you all again. Feels like I 
Feels like I haven't seen you guys in quite a bit. Yeah, it's been like a day. Yeah. Well, I've got everything plugged in, and just like you said, I guess we have to wait for the, uh, the six hours, correct? Correct. <laughs> what was that? I said correct. Why are you, why are you, uh... You don't need to know. You, right. you sound like an absolute bummer right now. What's, uh, what's going on there, big guy? Hey! I just need a moment to... Uh, remind myself of uh, my failures so I don't forget them in the future. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. We overcome great odds on this station. We should be proud of what we've done. I'm incredibly proud of what everybody did. I wouldn't be alive without all of you. Uh, I'm more so just... Just doing what my teachers taught me. Cry? Just, mm. No, in, ingraining failure into my head so I never forget it. And I oh. overcome it in the future. Hi, oh, what? Did you say hi, me? No, hi, hi, oh, hi, oh, is a, a, a god. Hi. Who also happened to create hi, oh, me, yes. Oh, oh, all right. A god oh, created a show? I guess so. Looks at oh. sheets. Stares at sheets. Yeah, I mean. Hi, May is a genre. <laughs> yeah. What? A lifestyle. Sheets isn't out here. I can't get into the room, so I'm just, <laughs> just banging against the door. I'm here. <laughs> oh God, let me in! Oh, I, I see what I see what I did wrong. Okay, hold on a sec. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop moving! Stop! <laughs> donk, stop. Donk, donk. I put I put you on the wrong map. <gasps> no! Uh, open the barge. It's this one. This is the one I'm supposed to be. Give me a second, okay? Ahem. <clears throat> What the fuck? Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm? Oh. All right. Now you can go in. Sorry about that. Now you could run. Now you now you can now you're free to flee. What the fuck? Stop. Stop tracking her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> bleh, bleh. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, well when uh, when you get over yourself, uh, I I do need help with the schematics that you did upload from the station. Could, could I help at all? Get over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel like I'm at home. <laughs> all right. What do you need help with? Well, uh, all, all of you actually. Uh, let me, let me. He, he'll pull up this sort of like pad um, that has a, it's kind of got a screen on it. He's touching, like touching it a little bit. It's moving some some stuff aside, and uh, he'll go. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I managed to decipher uh, the armory data from the Mastiff station that you uploaded. Figured if you found anything of interest, you may uh, want to take a look. Now that we're now that we're charging everything up, I could probably get the fabricator online, and we could actually make some of this stuff with some of the things that you found at the station. Veritable pallets, but yeah. So 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 a lot is what you're saying. Zeke is gonna run over and empty her pockets of uh <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> Miscellaneous scrap, 215 credits. <laughs> he looks, he's just like, looks down. Zika, why are you dumping garbage on my barge? No, 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 this is a scrap that I found. Oh, for the fabricator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we could probably do something with that. 
Oh, all right. Well, where, where's where's Sheets? Probably resting. Her most recent experience was against a rather terrifying foe. Not a positive one, huh? She fell, but thankfully the beast was felled as well. Hmm. Well, one of you go in and check in on her at some point after she's rested a little bit, okay? I plan to. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <I'm> wow. <assured. laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. No, no, that's not. I, I, okay, I understand that. Okay, I gotta keep the shirt operational. Is what I'm saying. No, unless she's coming I get out it, here. <laughs> don't give me. Listen, yeah. Mopey. Don't give me that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure she understands. Fine. I'll check in on her. Okay. <laughs> Just get off my ass. Off in the other room. God, I wish Tito would check on me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why was she covered in vomit? I'm pretty sure she threw up uh, a lot. Oh, jeez. Still getting her hunter legs, huh? Oh, uh, I mean her hunter. Uh. Uh. uh hey, you All know right, what? How about you? <laughs> Let's look at these schematics. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. What have you been doing out here, Cheetle? You're weird. It has been a boring <laughs> six hours of idle standby doing nothing. If Mon my calculations are correct with all of the various crafting materials that I have procured, uh, we have about 16,000 credits worth of materials. Yeah, that'll help. I also have the hackathon shard, the slime matter, and the miscellaneous scrap. That'll help. All right. So, first of all, it's my face. Uh, I'm gonna, I am going to drop a PDF into our, into our chat. Oh, what? PDF. A PDF. What is Whoa. a PDF? This is your, uh, your, your loot pamphlet. A personal flotation device. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, to chat. I have just given uh, the players a five-page document highlighting all of the loot can, that can be assembled um, using the Mastiff parts. Oh, these are dope. Uh, Holy they all, shit. They also include art assets made by Dyer. Uh, if you are interested in a five-page document of loot, uh, as well as uh, carving rules, uh, all of the carving tables, uh, and the crafting rules uh, for how this all works. Uh, it'll be up on the Patreon this week. And uh, yeah, as everyone says, it looks dope. Looks professional as fuck, if I do say so myself. So, let me go ahead and explain uh, what's going on uh, to the players. So the crafting rule set <clears throat> for this one, um, it actually, surprisingly enough, does not require uh, crafting checks anymore. You don't have to beat DC. See, if you have the material components, uh, you spend a certain number of activities, which is short slash long rests, uh, and then you just assemble the item. And the items are uh, very, all these items can be assembled uh, after a, uh, after completing a, um, a long rest. You can build one of these items if you have the material components. You'll be noticing in all of the item uh, blocks, there is potential ingredients. Uh, if you have any of the, so if you have any of those potential ingredients, you can use the full <clears throat> market value of an item, of the of that item uh, into the crafting project. Um, all the items that you have carved out, if you were to sell just for flat currency, uh, you would only get half market value uh, as you do with any good that you sell. You would normally only get half the value for it. Um, however, if you do use any of these parts in their uh, corresponding items, um, you get to use the full value of the item as part of the crafting components. And to get the craft and to successfully craft an item, uh, you need the materials. Uh, you essentially need a material value 
a certain amount of materials valued to the market value of the item. So, for example, uh, the deflection plate, uh, any of the Mastiff Security Mark II parts that you use, uh, you will be able to use full value uh, of it. Uh, any credits that you have, like raw credits, you can use full value. Uh, and for the deflection plate, which is a big recipe, 12,500 uh, credits, uh, once you have enough materials to equal that, that equals that, uh, you can go ahead and attempt to craft it. Um, these schematics that you have downloaded, um, it, that, that you did downloaded should be, I think, 12 items, uh, that vary in, uh, uncommon to very rare. So there are some items that you may want to build right now. There's some items you may want to wait for in the future. Uh, but just to recap the titles real quick for everyone, and then we'll go into the detail, um, with the items that you do choose to build. Uh, we have uh, in the uh, Bracers of Ceratos, which is a very rare wondrous item. Deflection Plate, which is a very rare uh, plate armor. Mastiff Grenade, which you're familiar with already, an uncommon consumable. Modified Mastiff Grenade, which is a rare consumable. A Potion of Regenerate, which is very rare. Um, an upgrade to your Sentinel's Flask. Mm -hmm which is also rare. Uh, a Shard Blaster Cannon, also rare. A Siege Blaster modification that you can apply onto your ranged weapons, also rare. Uh, Sonic Blade, which is a rare dagger. A Slime Staff, which is a rare quarter staff. A Slime Whip, which is a rare whip. And a Wild Rifle, which is a rare heavy crossbow. Also, in the final page, you will notice other craftables. Uh, same as the items from above, uh, if you have, uh, you can also craft any of these items uh, using the full uh, market value of specific parts. So, for example, if you'd like to use your Mastiff Security uh, Mark II parts uh, on building a suit of plus one armor, uh, you're able to use the full market value of those parts uh, into the contribution of creating the item. Meanwhile, uh, the Ceratos and the Cada uh, and the Cadaver, um, not it's not supposed to say amalgamation, sorry, um, uh, Arthropod, um, can help build things like an Amulet of Health or a Potion of Vitality or a uh, Staff of Power. Any questions? I have a question. Yes. Those uh, Bracers of Ceratos enhance strength does that mean from any strength it increases to 21? That is Even correct. Even if I have 10 strength, it could be 20. What? Mm -hmm. what? The Bracer That's of Ceratos crazy. is one of the stronger items that you can uh, you now know how to craft. Uh, by wearing these bracers, uh, it improves your maximum, your maximum constitution by plus 2 to a maximum of 22. It yeah. sets your strength to 21, and That's it crazy. grants or improves your dark vision by 60 feet. It requires, uh, if you want to use full market value parts, uh, any of the Ceratos parts can be can be applied to building this item. Also, whenever wow. you find uh, conductive gold ingots or grade four asteroid dust, uh, you can also use that um, and get full market value. Uh, for just as a, a just as a question, so we're not crafting these anymore. I'm sorry? You said we're not crafting these anymore. Uh, no crafting checks required, yes. Uh, your uncommon tools that you've upgraded to um, allows you to um, do things at half the time or two projects at the same time. Gotcha. So you still do have a benefit for, for upgrading your tools. If that's all right with you. I'm down for whatever. Okay, cool. You just got quiet, like, did I just waste my fucking money on these brand new <laughs> tools? My thousands of dollars? No. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're still useful for me in the sense that... Well, actually, that, that is a, a point I wanted to bring up. Because tools act as my focus mm -hmm. in terms of spell casting, does increasing them increase my spell save dc and attack bonus oh like it actually provides uh, a, a magic bonus yes. for you oh let me think that's about why, that that's why i wanted to clarify and ask yeah let me let me think about that and i'll get back to you next session 
Perfect. I haven't yeah. I haven't been using it, but it was something that's, that's a, been on that's, my a mind. that's a that's a that's a good point. Yeah, I'll 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 get back to you on that. Uh, well, team, uh, Bracers of Ceratos are obviously fucking sick. I think they would benefit literally any of the marshals in the party. Um, a plus two to con is massive. That's a that's a bunch of hit points for a, a bunch of people. I think. Wiz it's your wisdom and dexterity that makes your armor class. Vizika? Uh, I yes. believe so. Yeah. Yes. Your unarmored defense. Uh, you get to if you're unarmored, you get to add your wisdom modifier. Would those bracers fuck with being unarmored, or do they not count if it's just they, bracers? They don't. They don't count as armor. Wearing armor. <laughs> so massive because I think that would. What's your dex? My dex is eighteen. You would become a strength monk. I would. <laughs> but it would also help Gareth by bumping his strength, which is his main stat, up to 21. Uh, it would also help me. <laughs> I'm also I'm a strength at, artificer. I'm at 20 already. Uh, You're I at 20 can already? Not, yeah. Can we not go past 20 without uh, Correct. items? Okay, that's what I thought. Oh. Oh, actually, yeah, you you can uh, break the limit, but you have to spend both of your. If so, if you get an ability score increase, you have mm -hmm. to spend both, and you only get oh, plus one for one. Oh, yeah. okay. Ooh. All right. So if you got the bracers, then on your next ASI level up, you could then be at twenty two. Uh, unfortunately, no, because it the bracers sets your strength. Right. So if your strength is e already equal to or oh. higher, it it doesn't it doesn't add on to it. Gotcha. What is your, what's your armor right now? Me with shield, AC 22. No, what's your, like, is it just what armor? Main plate armor? Uh, the armor I'm wearing is half plate plus one. So getting you the deflection plate would be huge. Cause not only does it have its plus one bonus, which I think would make you a 19 base. It would also give you lightweight which means you no longer have disadvantage on your stealth checks, and it gives you resistance to radiant damage. I would really like the deflection play. <laughs> uh, for, oh, for, yeah. It, it already it is a plus one, right? department. Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Holy God. Cheats with the... All right, so uh, just so everyone's aware, uh, the deflection plate is a very rare suit of plate armor, like the category plate. While you're wearing it, uh, it gives you um, a plus... So it counts as plus one plate. It has uh, the property lightweight, which means the item weighs half as much of its normal value. It does not impose disadvantage on dexterity style checks and does not have a strength requirement. And uh, it has radiant resistance, which means while wearing the plate, you are resistant to radiant damage. That's fucking insane. <laughs> so it would um, increase, I think, Gareth's AC by one. Because you have what half plate plus one, right? Uh, yeah. What's your dex? Dex is, uh, 14. Okay, so you're... That's a 17 plus one makes that 18, which would be base plate. This would make your... You would be getting a 19 AC. But it's, it also could be huge for cheats, because that would be another marshal on the front line with us with a really high AC. Well, the, she would get a 19 AC. The only issue with that is Cheats is not, is only proficient in light armor. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, you would be able to wear that. <laughs> you could put it on, but you would, uh, you would actually be gimping yourself in, in terribly. So even though it's light, it's not actually light armor. The point plate of, armor of having like a lightweight plate. It's bulky. Well, it, it's it's helpful for people who would normally wear plate because then they don't have the debuffs of wearing mm -hmm. heavy armor. Correct. But they're still able to wear it. Correct. Like I have to be in a specific mode of my armor to not get disadvantage on stealth checks. Otherwise, I have disadvantage on stealth checks. Gotcha. Sorry, bud. So. Still very good for Gareth because it's just a plus one bonus to your AC. Uh, 
gets rid of your disadvantage on stealth and gives you a damage resistance, which is really strong because you're an Asmodian, so you get psychic and radiant. If you took, if you multi-class into fighter, would you, that you get the proficiency from that? I think you only get up to medium. Medium, armor. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't multi-class. I'm vehemently against it. I uh -oh. hate multi-classing. Oh, okay. Is the slime whip good for cheats though? Slime whip. It's on page five. No. Unless I could combine them. Plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. I wonder if Cheetle could combine them. I mean, it's still pretty good on its own. It it it, it doesn't have the. I, she's talking about the kinetic energy. Hmm. Ah. It's a different whip. There's also the uh, Sonic Blade, which uh, three times per long rest, you can just ignore parts of armor class. Oh, oh that's a dagger. Wait, that's sick. Oh, and it deals force damage. Mm hmm. That's wicked. That would be really good for cheap. Force damage is stupid strong. Uh, the Sonic Blade is a plus one dagger. Um, instead of doing pier uh, instead of dealing piercing damage, it deals force damage, uh, and then three times before a long rest as part of an attack. Uh, but before you make an attack roll, uh, you can activate the property vibration penetration. Uh, the next Ooh. attack <laughs> roll treats the target's AC <laughs> as if it were only ten plus the dexterity modifier. Vibration penetration. Mm hmm. Smile. <laughs> we can get. Ooh. I like my cheat code. We could also get the rifle for Vanya. Yeah, there's two rifles, right? So the wild rifle's interesting with some uh, oh, the blast recoil. Or... Oh, they're, both, yeah, the they're both the heavy. wild shot is <laughs> yeah bonus action at will your next attack made with this weapon deals an additional 2d i mean that's i gonna be honest the the shard blaster is comparatively much stronger <laughs> and pretty cheap to make compared it's to everything bonus else bonus action every round to just pump out 2d8 damage yep. on your shot Yep. That's awesome. I mean, I've been looking at it like I don't want to say anything. If we, you know, if we decide like the, on it, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> That's it's all. Like the cheapest say. item on this page, aside from it is pretty the, cheap. Yeah, aside from the grenades. How much do we have all together? Yeah, to like spend? how how many can we make? How many of these items can mm -hmm. we make? How much uh, GP we got? Credits. That'll have to be between uh, between the party. You can check your your crafting bass yeah. to see what you can assemble. Oh God, math time! Awesome. Would the range be the same with this shard blaster cannon? Uh, I believe so. It's a heavy. It, it, so it follows the same properties as a heavy crossbow. Okay. Hmm. Range of a heavy crossbow is a hundred feet. Okay. Do you have sharpshooter or anything like that? Yes. I believe that. I am a sharpshooter. You have a sharp shooter, uh, then your actual range with it is 400 feet. Do it. What? <laughs> yeah, if you have the sharpshooter feet, you don't, your shooting beyond the normal range of a weapon doesn't impose disadvantage. You can actually shoot up to its max range. So 400 oh my feet. God. Holy cow. Uh, um, the Siege Blaster mod, does that mod your weapon to deal radiant damage uh let me read that real quick and it's for ranged weapons only for the for the siege master blow mm -hmm. um so uh no it doesn't ch it doesn't change it all it does is it adds the ability to uh charge uh okay. with your weapon so every time you shoot um so the siege blaster mod you would actually apply onto a ranged weapon 
It gains uh, the charge property. Whenever you inflict radiant damage with this weapon, you gain one charge. You can only gain one charge around. The reason why is this allows you to plug into all of the um, all of the, the, the guns here, the rifles. Yeah, because they all gotcha, do radiant gotcha. damage. Yeah. Cool. So you would want you would want the blaster mod and then the rifle and basically slap them together. So that way you're constantly building a charge and then you can action fire off a, an Omega beam. Oh, damn. Also, as a just a head up for the wild rifle, the wild shot is just yeah. um you just that's an alternate to the damage dice. It's not a bonus action to activate. You just before your attack, you go instead of the 2d6, instead of, you know, instead of the base damage, I'm just going to roll a one I'm going to do 1d20. Right. But okay. it does have it does have the uh yes, the the fire back, the kickback. Yeah. It, if you crit or if you roll a uh a, a 20 on the d20. Yep. Well, the other one is super good. That's also good. Yep. That takes your bonus action, but yes. Yeah. The next, yes, yeah, so as a bonus action, uh, your next attack made with this weapon deals an additional 2d8 points of radiant damage. Yeah, that's huge. Ooh. That, you should put that with the Siege Blaster mod. Isn't that is what it? we're talking about? Well, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Notters. How much how much do we have of Ceratos parts? Uh they are in your crafting materials. I have twenty two hundred credits worth. I have if I'm reading this right, I think oh it doesn't look like it. I have Please. one that's listed and then <laughs> yes. the others don't have their listing. Uh yeah, that's correct. So you well that's cuz uh the only ones that were that carved was on uh Vizika and Vizika has that. Gotcha. So so the only thing you have of the Ceratos part is the Ceratos matter. Uh and for Vizika's crafting parts, the only thing she has I have 7 slime matters and one shard all in total worth 2200 credits. So you have 4,200 credits worth of uh, Ceratos parts. Isn't the shard worth 1,500? Yes. yes. And then each slime matter is 100 credits, and I have seven of those. Which, which is where you get 2,200. Gotcha. Yep. So we have 4,200, then, worth of Ceratos parts. Huh. That is correct. What can we make? Uh, were, 4, were we able to use double mastiff parts to also craft Ceratos things? Uh, that was uh, before this. Th it changed to this. Oh, okay. I apologize, but you were correct before. Yes. So another thing, completely off the the main beaten path, is uh, uh, the headband of intellect. <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred dollar dues using Ceratos parts, and that would bump my int to nineteen. <laughs> so that we could correct. get, we could get Vanya a beefed up gun and get you intellect, and that would be probably it, right? Aside from like the, it would be which gun? Uh, wouldn't it that be the blaster that? cannon, sharp blaster yeah, cannon, with the mod? I think the shard blaster cans to uh, the massive security parts. Yes. Oh, you're right. Which I have. That's fourteen hundred twenty-four. Uh, I have thirty-two hundred oh. credits worth for the massive, so, okay. uh, massive security. Okay. That's perfect for both of them, right? Yep. You can also use armory mimic parts on these. Mastiff and K2 parts. Uh, I have. That's 730, 1430. Uh, oh god. There's odd numbers. Hold on. 300, 430, 700. I, I guess and... if one wants something like the bag of devouring, you need to just get a whole bunch of that, the gold stuff. You can also just use credits. Oh. oh. Yes. Wait. 
So, so you could use credits that. for full market value, or you could use the specific parts for the full market value. Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Well, then on top of this, I have an additional <laughs> uh, 4,800 to burn credits wise. <laughs> I have 215 more. <laughs> oh, you have, have uh, you have you have you have a thousand credits, Marius. You have um, in crafting parts. You have that, but those are gotcha. all scrap. Oh. I have a thousand dollars. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Do Posting I have anything? in our chat. You can look in your inventory and click on your credit chip under oh, loot. Oh, you click on it. Oh. Yeah, and then you can see how much money you have. Nine hundred credits. Nine hundred. That's a thousand. Twenty-two, fifty, two thousand, two hundred fifty. Is that thirty-five hundred? Okay, so I have. This is my total uh, amount of parts. This is what I'm rocking. Where'd you put it? I just put oh, it in chat. Yeah, normal chat. He just talked okay. about. Okay. I got thirty-two hundred crazy. How, how about I, how about <laughs> doing my calculations? This is how much I have. <laughs> So, if we wanted to get Vanya the Shard Blaster Cannon, uh, we could do so. Do we need Mastiff parts for anything else that we want? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else do we want? Because I think it's. I don't think Vanya's gotten much in the way of magic items for a hot minute. I definitely think we should do the gun and the mod for Vanya and the headband mm -hmm. for you. And then, uh, Shrug. Yeah. Cheats doesn't want the dagger, right? No. Okay. Then we could get the, I don't know, the bracers. Can we, if we can afford them with pooling our money? Question marks. If everybody would want to, question marks. Ooh, the yeah, I mean, what else are we doing with the money? We should get I, as much as we can, you know, as many upgrades as we can. I don't think we'll be able to get the bracers. <laughs> no? What What are 80, we missing? Well, they're 8,400, so... We have... Oh, wait, let's see. How much do we have for Ceratos? We have 4,400 in Ceratos parts. Can we use other parts as credit value for... We you can will... use, like, normal money, so... So, so you can use normal mo money, um, and you can sell... Um, once you get to once you get to the mainland, you can actually sell um, the parts that you've carved for half market value. If okay. we all pooled our money together, everybody's credits, we could make the bracers. <laughs> and just so you know, these are recipes that you guys now know. So even if you don't create this now, you can always create it later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, tentative, tentative list. Vanya, which gun do you want? The Shard Blaster Cannon, please. Shard Blaster. That is going to equal 1,600 creds of MK2. And now, I don't know if we are using the mod also? for it? Are we getting the Siege Blaster mod for it, or just not? If we get that... That's 1,600 more for that. That is 1,600 more of the... or and the Master Station and the Armory Mimic. Okay. So, 1,600 from my Armory Mimic parts. Uh, da -da 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 -da. From the 2465. 2465. Oh, sorry. No. It'd be 1500. Oh, actually, I'd be able to make. We'd be able to make both, spending uh, all of the MK2 parts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Um, if we pooled mod. all of our Ceratos parts and credits together, I don't know how much Cheats has and if she's willing to share it. But with everybody but Cheats, we have 8191 out of 8400 for the bracers. Don't we need... Actually, what is it? From... We need 8,400. 
So we'd be short. As well. okay. 209. So we really, we really want the bracers. Do we know who the bracers are going to? That's a good question. Um, is there anything else on the list of other craftables that would be better if we like all got something? I mean, uh, so I know for me, again, the headband of Int is a fat bonus to everything. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a plus one to my saves. It's a plus one to my attack rolls. It's a plus one to my flash of genius, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it telling that there's a lot of, um, resistance to radiant stuff on this item list? Uh, the reason for that is a lot of energy cannons use radiant damage. Um, gotcha. So it would make sense for soldiers to have heavy pieces of armor that's resistant to that. Uh, ring of resistance. Shields. How about this? Because we are at time. <laughs> uh, I'll have you guys look over the uh, document. Um, you guys can list all the stuff that you have, and then you can do all the things that you want to craft um, this over this week, and then have you uh, create some stuff um, on the next session. Does that sound good? No. I want to do it now. That's, <laughs> that sounds, <laughs> that sounds, that sounds okay. great. Okay, see, look, he's already a partner, guys. It's just that that entitlement. <laughs> what the hell I be? <laughs> All right. I want it now. <laughs> I want to, I want to, you can look over all of it next time. What the fuck? Yay. Good session. Yay. 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 What'd you guys think of the item, Doc? Do you like it? Yeah. Hey, I uh I cannot wait for the patrons to see it. Yeah. Some good uh mm -hmm. good stuff. Uh no bingo today. Uh, I think our bingo deck's been taking a, a bit of a break and we Vacation! we respect that and we love that. Um but that's it for now, guys. Did y'all have a good session today? Yeah. Yes. Are we on for next Monday? We should be. Uh, let's see. When are coming we coming back? We from arrive Sunday? from TwitchCon um, on Monday. Uh, Let me see what time. Oh boy. This is, um, this is why I ask. Who oh boy? We can skip hey. next week if you if you'd feel more comfortable with that. Would you like to we're, skip next week? I think we're gonna be getting home like thirty minutes after we would usually start. Yeah, let's skip. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll skip. We'll give you guys a couple there. And then, uh, but um, I think we're good 30th, 6th, and 13th. Like, we're not doing anything to stop us. So we should have a good a, a good three period, um, three session period. And then Ooh. moving on to our next story point, which is very exciting. So, oh, yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Uh, I will say goodbye to chat, but, and I will say goodbye to you. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye -bye. Catch you around. Next time. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.